All right, everybody, Sylvia here coming to you on a gorgeous day in the desert of Southern California. I am preparing to do a very big tour starting in March, and I have a long list of videos that I want to record before I leave. And today's video is one of those. I want to answer the two most common questions that I get on my YouTube channel and my blog. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. Yeah, so I get a lot of questions on my YouTube channel and on my blog, but today I want to talk about the two mostly asked questions. And the first one I want to answer has to do with feet retention. This is a very important topic, especially for tadpole trikes. And so I get a lot of questions about how I attach my feet to the pedals. This for me is not controversial. It's really not something that's up for discussion. It's super important. Any trike rider, particularly riding a tadpole trike, needs to have their feet attached to the pedals. There are a number of ways that you can do this. Probably some of the most common are using platform pedals. Your feet fit on the pedals completely. And there's Velcro straps that hold your foot to the platform. Another common way is to use heel slings. And this is where you have a canvas or wire that fits around your heel as you put your foot on the pedal. Probably the most common is to use SPD type pedals. This requires special shoes and you attach cleats, clips to the bottom of your shoes and then they actually clip into the pedals. This is the most efficient way to pedal. You can push and pull as you have your feet attached to the pedals better than you can in any other method. Today I want to show you what I am using. Um, let me set up the camera so I can get a closer look at my pedal straps. All right, so I'm sitting here on my trike Myrtle the Turtle and I wanted to do a quick demonstration of what happens when your foot falls off the pedal to explain why it's so important. So I have my foot on the pedal, it's not attached. I'm riding, maybe I hit a bump, a curb, whatever it is, something happens and my foot comes loose and it falls down. And what's gonna happen is your foot is going to fall to the ground and it's gonna get caught under the cruciform. Your trike is going to roll over your foot, your ankle, your shin, and there's no way that you can pull your foot back out. This has a name, it's called leg suck. You wanna avoid it however you can. You wanna have your feet attached to the pedals. This injury can be devastating. You can require surgery. You may have mobility issues for years to come. It can be irreparable. A number of years ago, I was at my trike shop, Recumbent PDX in Portland, Oregon, and I was talking to Mel, the owner, about issues that I was having using SBD type clips. I had used them for years and years and years, and my toes always got numb. Not a huge issue. Mostly, if I put my feet down for 30 seconds, I get circulation back into my toes and I can continue riding. Mel suggested that I try out these Black Star Bags pedal straps. Um, Black Star Bags is actually right next door to Recumbent PDX, so it's very uh, convenient. And I think at the time, uh, they had just come out with these. these. The pedal straps I have might even be the prototypes. And let me show you how they work. So there's a lot of Velcro, um, very thick top flap, and then there's two smaller, you can feel how tight these are. Oh, they're never going anywhere. And then there's this bigger flap. So I put my feet in the pedals. I put down this fat flap. I got the two straps on top. And then on top of that, I put the outside layer of these pedal straps. What I really like about them, these a number of reasons. One, with pedal straps, you don't need to have special shoes. So I ride in a beat up old pair of Keens. I find them to be very comfortable. And 
when I want to get my feet out of the pedals, it's very, very easy. Um, and you'll notice that when I get my feet out of the pedals, that the straps, they keep their form. And so it makes it really easy to get my foot back into the pedals. The pedals that I'm using are Wellgo. They're really inexpensive. They have little mountain biking knobbies. So my feet um, kind of get connected with those as well as the straps. And these straps just fit through some openings on both sides of these pedals. I have left a link in the description for Black Star bags. Uh, these pedal straps I think are $46 and now you can get them in pretty much any color that you want. I think the new ones are a little more refined. This top strap isn't quite as wide and this thickness, it's not quite as thick. Uh, but you know what, these have lasted me five or six years and uh, they're wearing just perfectly fine. I have no reason to replace them. So yeah, take a look at that and see if these pedal straps will work for you. Uh, but whatever you do, figure out a way to get your feet attached to the pedals. All right, so on to the second most asked question on my YouTube channel and my blog. I get so many people wanting to know where they can buy my helmet visor. It really is a, a nice helmet visor. It comes in all colors. It's made of a very sturdy plastic. Uh, it lasts for a long time. I added this black trim to it. I got it at an automotive store. It's like for your car door to keep it from chipping, but I think it polishes it off pretty nicely. Until recently, the best I could do was to tell you you had to come to the recumbent retreat on the Oregon coast in September or to Tater Tot in June. My friend Leslie makes these visors and she gives them away for free. She installs them on your helmet and even puts a little inscription on them. And I wrote to her, I said, you know, Leslie, I get so many comments and questions. People want to buy this visor. I think you could sell it. And she said, okay, let's try it. And so she is selling these visors for $15. I don't know if that includes shipping, probably depends on where you live. And if you want more than one, I can't remember, but it's maybe $5 extra for each additional visor. If you would like to buy this visor, leave your email address in the comments section of this video, and I will make sure that Leslie gets your email address and you can be in correspondence. Now, Leslie is not a business, you know, she's just a person. You know, it's not like ordering something on Amazon. It's probably going to take a few days. Um, but I think uh, once I get your email address, I'll send it on to Leslie and you should hear from her really quickly. So, okay, you guys, those are the two things I wanted to talk about. I'll let you know where you can buy this visor and then how I attach my feet to the pedals. There are a couple of other things. I told you that I'm preparing for a really big tour. And if you would like to join me on this tour, there is a link to a contact form in the description. Please fill that out. And I'll, it'll help me to schedule meetups and group rides as I go. And there's also a link for my Patreon. You can become a member of my Patreon for as little as a dollar and your contribution is really welcome. Many, many thanks to all the people that have already signed up. I can't tell you how great it is to have your support. Let me know what you think of this video. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. I love hearing your thoughts. Stay safe, be healthy, and thank you for following along.